brought to you by Accenture Extended Reality. This is Field of View. And, and you recently launched your new headsets. You're literally going to market as we speak right now. Would you like to talk to us a little bit about this new headset that you're launching on the market? Sure, sure. So we just launched um, last year, at the end of last year, our third generation product, which is pretty fun because we are, like I said, we are four, four year old, um, a little bit more from a four year old company. But um, um, so we launched a product called the XR3 and, and the VR3. And these are the most advanced. VR and XR products in the market aimed for professional use. So car designers, um, jet fighter pilots that are, are looking for the ultimate training experience, simulation experience, um, uh, medical experts, these kind of people who have not been able to do effective uh, training or, or design in an immersive uh, way with, with the current headsets because they've been basically, other headsets have been aimed for the consumers. Now, we have, we had a, amazing products in the, in the past, uh, VR1, VR2, VR2 Pro and the XR1 Developer Edition. But with these products that we now put out, we have the, uh, we, we have the best field of view in the market. We have the best visual quality. We have a photorealistic mixed reality. I, we are so excited that these products are finally like, you know, putting together the vision that Wario was founded on. That, and, and these are truly the ultimate products now Jesse, for that. Well, well, one question I know so many people are going to be asking, mm. what kind of PC do I need to run this headset? <laughs> so, so, the cool, <laughs> so, the, so the cool thing with these ones is that, is that we have created our own eye tracker, for example, and, and we are doing fovea added rendering for that one. So even though you are able to see things in a human eye resolution um, that are, you know, one-to-one -one parity with the real world. You don't need a supercomputer to run it. So it's a gaming PC. Basically, we are recommending um, a, a GPU of 3070 to 3090. Um, with, depending a little bit what you want to do, mixed reality is, is for sure a little bit more involved, uh, requires more kind of like GPU power. But, um, but, you know, these companies like Kia and Volvo, they they have the uh, the GPUs to run those kind of things and and for them it's all about being able to virtually create something that you would usually you know take a lot of lot of time in creating a physical model out from wood or clay but now you can do it all in virtually and you can see all those details those shadows and lightnings and, and yeah it's an actually you can save a lot of money a lot of time when you can work in in this virtual way. Did you know you can catch this full episode of Field of View? and more by subscribing on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, or wherever you get your podcasts. To not miss another immersive technology moment, subscribe today.